Yo, YouTube, it's your boy Jaden, and we back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a top 10 brands for back to school, or just my top 10 brands in general as of right now, July 2024. So I'm not really gonna spread out this intro too long. I'm just going to jump right into the video. So my first brand is By Brothers Keepers, and I'm gonna actually move over here to the side so you guys can see. I'm having a little recording of it on my phone, showing the Instagram. But I have a few of these um, brands pieces with me, and I do indeed have this brand's piece with me. It's actually my newest piece in my closet, and I'm gonna explain this piece a little bit. So it is a black, white, and gray flannel, kind of cropped at the bottom. And these flannels do kind of run oversized, so I got me, I normally wear a size large. Well, actually in flannels, I wear a medium, but I went ahead and sized down and got a small. So this is how it looks camera and then this is the back and it has this at the bottom it's actually my favorite feature of the flannel it says hello I am my brother's keeper so as you can see that so you can see that so yeah and then it has this message in the front it says we must learn to live together as brothers or perish together as fools now, I've never really seen that on any other clothing pieces so I knew that I had to cop it and also I do know this dude he goes to my school but yeah so that's enough of that make sure y'all go cop all these on um, brands like I said they will be on the screen I will have the links to all the products in the description so anyways we're on the brand two all right so for brand two we have inspo world and actually I brought this piece back in April when I went to that Atlanta streetwear market I met the brand owners and everything and I also did a vlog on that so you will see the video pop up in the type right top right hand corner if y'all wanna go watch that video. But here is the piece here. This is from Inspo World. And I really like this piece. Um, it says some words on the back. Well, not some words, actually quite a bit of words. But um, to be honest, the best way to describe this piece, I don't really know how to describe this piece to be honest. But it's very unique, never seen anything like it. So I knew I had to copy it and add it to the collection. So yeah, so that's from Inspo World. Um, they actually, um, while I'm recording this video, they actually are doing a sale on that shirt and um, a whole bunch of different products. So like I said, all the links will be in the description. So make sure I go cop. But now we're going on to brand three. So next brand is Humble Goats. And actually I've been following this brand for like two years now. Um, and here's the product that I got from it. I got this hoodie. I, took, I got this hoodie like a year ago, and I think he still sells these hoodies. I don't know, but every time I wear this to school or like in public, someone always comes up and asks, where did I get this from? And it is a crop gray hoodie. On the front, it says Humble Goats. And then on the back, it says, be the goat, but keep your humble. And this is the main reason why I bought it, because I pretty much stand for what it says. And then at the bottom, it says Humble Goats, established 22. But there y'all go. So, yeah, this is that. It's still to this day one of my favorite brands. And make sure y'all go support and cop a hoodie from them. All right, so for brand four, this one could be a little controversial because, well, this happened about a month ago, so I think people have now left it behind. But it is called Yell Yard. That's the brand. And this brand is owned by one of my favorite YouTubers. His name is Quan. And I actually do have a few Yell Yard products. This is one of them right here, this pink shirt that says Yell Yard. And it has these little like faces and the middle says members only. And it has a star on the back. And I did just order one of their new shirts from their newest drops, which I will pop it up right there. Um, but the shirt is now on the way. I actually got an email today saying that I got the tracking number and that should be here in the next three to two days. So that's fine. But, um, but yeah, so make sure y'all go call from them if y'all want. And just for anyone that was wondering why I said this might be a little controversial, the dude that owns the brand, he did a stream one day and he was just reviewing all his subscribers' clothes or whatever. And about 90% of the clothes that he reviewed, he called them ass. And a lot of people did not like that. Somebody made this hard ass song about it. I ain't gonna lie. Song, song was pretty hard. But yeah, so that's why I said this could be a little controversial. But that's enough yapping. Um, we're gonna go to the next brand. So next brand we got is Archives.World. And I have 
three shirts from this brand. And I'm not gonna lie, this probably out of all of these um, clothing, clothing pieces that I own and that I've brought today to, to this video, this is probably top three best quality. This is the main reason why I still buy from them. An amazing shirt, great design. Nothing on the back, sadly, but still an amazing shirt. And I actually, I should have brought the other shirt down because it actually has something on the back. But really affordable, great um, quality, and just all around great brand. They ship quick, pretty quickly. So, yeah. And um, I will say this too. This one, you won't have to size up or down. You can just go with your regular size. And that's really, that's really it about archives.world. So now we're gonna go on to the next brand. And before I get to the next brand, y'all let me know if y'all fucking with the little baseball cap. Got this little, little socks hat. I think that's the team name, socks, I don't know. Uh, something like that, Chicago White Sox, I don't know, some, some shit like that. And it says, uh, Chicago on the side. But yeah, let me know if y'all are rocking with it. And I got the hair on the side, poofing on in the back. But yeah, y'all let me know if y'all are rocking with the baseball cap or I should just go to having my hair out and not wearing any hats. But anyways, yeah, next brand. So the next brand I got is One Heart Co. And I actually don't have the shirt with me right now. I'm letting somebody use it. But this brand, hard as hell. Um, one of the brands that are actually on the come up. So make sure I go cop for them. I will have a little screen recording, like I said, right here, showing the brand. But yeah, um, quality, amazing, and just all around good brand. They ship pretty quickly. So yeah, make sure I go cop from them. And also, you won't have to size up or down. Um, you just go to regular size. And that's all I really gotta say about that brand. So this brand, I don't have anything from them, but I have worn one of their pieces before, and I do know people that own pieces from them. And this brand is called Pieces of Knowledge, and I will, have the screen recording here. So yeah, Pieces of Knowledge, amazing brand. Um, I think it's a shirt that I have. If I can't find it, I'll pop it up on the screen. I don't have it, my friend has it. But shirt feels amazing, great quality, and you want to size up or down with this um, brand. But yeah, amazing brand. And yeah, and they're also on the come up too. But they've actually been out for a little minute now. But still, a lot of people are just now finding out about them. And me personally, I found out about them like two, three months ago. So yeah, but yeah. Pieces of knowledge, y'all go get out of it. So next brand I got is Never Reckon, and this is the shirt I got from them, which is this Lil Uzi T. And for that don't know, Lil Uzi's my favorite artist, so this was a must pick up. And I really love the design of the shirt. It's amazing, amazing quality, good design, and they're actually doing a website sale as of right now. So make sure y'all go get at them if you want this shirt or if you want any more pieces. They got sweats, shirts, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So make sure I go get at them. And like I said, links to all these products will be in the description. Now we're gonna go on to the next brand. So the next brand we got is actually owned by two of my friends that I go to school with, and it's called Elevation. And actually I'm wearing two, well I'm wearing their black shirt right here. And then this is their white shirt, amazing quality. The one thing about this brand, you will have to size down, maybe even two sizes. I wear a large in shirts, but both of these shirts are a size small. So that's the only thing about that. But amazing quality, ships pretty well. I got mine from school. So I don't really know too much about shipping. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I don't know about shipping. But amazing quality, um, you have to size down probably about two sizes. But yeah, overall, great, amazing t-shirts. Um, great customer service. And yeah, all around great brand. And they drop pretty frequently. And they actually take time to design their stuff. So make sure y'all go get at them. And that's that for that brand. And now we're gonna go on to the last brand. So last but not least, the last brand is Conflict. And this is um, like with the other brand that we did earlier, Inspo World. I got this also at the Atlanta streetwear convention little thing. And this is an amazing shirt. I seen somebody wear it on IG and I was like, damn, I gotta get that shirt. And they were at the Atlanta um, streetwear day. So I was like, yeah, it's my time to cop it. So this is what the shirt looks like. Um, it's a size large, so I didn't have to um, go up or down the size. And it's basically just um, brown, brown skin dude. Um, yeah, dressed up as like he's gonna go to war. You got the UK flag right there. And it has little holes in here. And I wore it to school one time with um, with no undershirt. And a few people told me I should probably wear it with an undershirt and it'll look better. So that's just a heads up if, the, if you're gonna buy this and wear it like that. Probably gonna wear it with an undershirt. But yeah. Um, that's all we have to say about this. Um, great quality, and yeah, 
And so that's that for that shirt. And now I'm gonna get ready to wrap this video up. All right, this is not the end of the video. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And comment if there's any brands that y'all think I missed out on and that I should take a peek at. And reminders that I post videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. So make sure y'all be on the lookout on those two days. And that's enough yapping. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.